the demo of using Sonar G to blend data that comes from both uh, on-prem systems and databases through a Guardian system with data that comes from database as a service running on various cloud platforms. So Sonar G, uh, in addition to supporting Guardian, also supports uh, various databases as a service such as uh, SQL Azure on on Azure, uh, Cosmos DB on Azure, uh, our various RDS on AWS, etc. And uh, when you use a database as a service, um, you can't really use a Guardian agent to capture the data because there's no operating systems you can install on. Uh, but uh, Sonar G and uh, is able to pull. Uh, the logs that are generated uh, by the native platform such as SQL Azure. So uh, the way it works is, um, and I'm going to go to my Azure portal, um, and I'm going to look at one of my databases. Uh, so this is a SQL database. Um, in auditing and threat protection, um, I've, I have enabled my, uh, my auditing, and you can see it's going to... Um, a certain storage account uh, which ends with uh, 745 um, and if I look at my storage account um, you'll see that if I go here to my storage accounts the one that ends with 745 um, and I look at my blobs because that's really where the uh, SQL logs are created you can see there's a, a SQL DB audit logs and in there um, there is my my uh, my blob. So you know, depending on which day, um, there are various uh, XEL files that get created, um, and these are created natively by uh, SQL Azure. And then what happens is that uh, SonarG goes and grabs those. Those are uh, proprietary Microsoft. Uh, blobs. Uh, it then uh, parses through these uh, blob files using uh, Microsoft libraries, um, and then it streams that data into um, into Sonar G. So, for example, if I go back here and I and I, and I go to my database and I open uh, a query editor and I log in. And you know I'm using a, my my account is called Roman. Um, and here I can do things like uh, uh, create table run one i int and run that. And then I can do something like um, insert into run one values 11 and let me run that maybe t maybe a couple of times All right so at this point i have some data in my little table so i can do a select star from run one Right, so I just have two two rows, and then you know I'll change this a little bit. I'll make this uh, select sixty six from run one. Okay, so you know just some sample data, and then again, what happens every time you do something, depending on your audit policy that's defined within SQL Azure, then it goes into these um, into these storage blobs, and then uh, SonarG will pick it up from there. So now, if I log into my SonarG system. And I open one of my, you know, I, I can run reports on this data. I can I can use my uh, Sonar K to view the data. Um, so I'll I'll look at I'll look at uh, the uh, I'll look at the, you know, all the SQL data that comes into the system. You can see how it comes over time. Um, you know, and each one of those documents, you know, some of them are coming from. Uh, SQL, like this one, for example, I can see already that this is a SQL Azure because I see the database name is Ron Demo, and that's that's really my um, you know my database name over here. Um, and also, I can see that the um, 
you know the service the service type the server type is SQL Azure whereas for example if it came from uh, Microsoft SQL Server through Guardian it would have a slightly different server type and I, I can actually see all the server types if I open this over here and analyze the entire collection I can see I have some Oracle data that came in through Guardian and some MS SQL Server access that came in through Guardian but the MS SQL Azure came in directly from from the Azure system um, and then I can search on it so if I do a search on RON1 um, then it, it will just uh, sift through these uh, millions of, of, of events and just show me uh, what has run one in one of these documents. Um, and if I, if I add, say, the, uh, the database name and the original SQL, then you'll see, you know, all of these uh, create tables and inserts. Now, it seems like there's more than I did because, for example, I did only, only two... Uh, inserts and it seems like there's six but it's not really six it's really two it's just the way that the uh, like if I add to this the action then you'll see what's going on uh, you'll see for example you see there's really just uh, uh, one insert two inserts uh, but there's also a batch started and batch complete because the way that uh, uh, SQL Azure audits things it also audits uh, kind of the uh, the batches are the the unit of work that is occurring um, and so again if I don't really if I don't really care about this I can kind of uh, uh, filter out all the batch completes and all the batch started and 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 just you know so filter these out filter these out um, and now I really get something that is you know my create the inserts the selects and the selects and then of course uh, you know, once the data is in SonarG, you can access it using any of the reporting and, and, and other mechanisms that are available to you in Guardian, or you can, or you can also uh, use it from any of the interfaces that, that know how to work with, with, uh, with SonarG, things like Splunk and things like uh, Tableau, right? It's not limited to uh, only a certain... Um, a certain set of of um, um, of of items that are of of GUIs that are part of SonarG because SonarG is a very open system. So, for example, I can query the data through Splunk. I can query the data through uh, Tableau or pretty much anything else. Um, so, this was a short demo uh, explaining how the system, how SonarG. Uh, blends the data together, Guardian data, Azure data, and again, it could be Hadoop data, uh, could be RDS data, any, any, any type of uh, uh, database activity or, or, frankly, any data access activity. Uh, for more information, please visit uh, jsonar.com. Thank you.